This is an AI-assisted high-precision surgical robot. It applies sensory feedback to the surgeon during critical moments of surgery and is one of the many cutting-edge health technologies on display at the Mobile World Congress Fair in Barcelona this year. Now we are talking about robotic surgery, but the next future is the digital surgery. Tech companies are fighting for their spot in medicine. And the talk of the town this year is artificial intelligence. Jaume Amat Riera is the CEO and founder of Rob Surgical. One of the main weakness of the robotics is that the, the surgeons they cannot work with the sensory or feedback because they are uh, they are managing the instruments with the control since the console. So with our new artificial intelligence tools, we provide again this sensory or feedback to the surgeon, so the surgeon they could feel when they are touching the the, the, the tissues. He said the combination of robotics, AI tools, and diagnostic imaging would improve safety and precision. Other companies are looking to wearable tech. In cases where a patient has a stroke, this headband can instantly monitor their brain status. For medical technicians, these AR glasses bring specialists from around the world into their ambulances. We have uh, AR glasses on the emergency medical technician. So he can do a video conference with a doctor or surgeon on the way to the hospital to get expert advice on how to treat the patient. And he also can see, or she, can see vital signs of uh, heartbeat and blood pressure in those glasses so he doesn't have to look away from the patient. Companies are hoping the buzz around AI will boost business prospects. Many here would argue its application in the healthcare sector can improve medical capacities and offer advantages to both staff and patients. But many experts caution AI technology can raise legal and ethical concerns.